Hi everyone and welcome to Pro Computers. Today we are going to discuss propositional logic. So what is a propositional logic? Before we understand propositional logic, we must know what a proposition is. So a proposition is a collection of statements or declarative statements that have either a true value or a false value. That means this value of the proposition is known as its truth value. So a proposition at any point of time will either have a truth value true or a truth value false. So any such declarative statement that has either a truth value true or a truth value false at any given point of time is known as a proposition. <laughs> Examples of propositions we can see like if I say a man is mortal. So that means this is a true statement because a man is not immortal. We all are mortal. So if I say a man is mortal then it will return the truth value true because this is a true statement. So the proposition statement is man is mortal and its truth value is true. Similarly, if I say 12 plus 9 is equal to 3 minus 2. Now 12 plus 9 gives me 21 and 3 minus 2 gives me 1. So obviously 21 is not equal to 1. So 12 plus 9 is equals to 3 minus 2 is a proposition and the truth value that it will return is false. Why? Because 21 can never be equal to 1. Now let us consider uh, another statement. It says A is less than 2. This is not a proposition. Why this is not a proposition? Because we do not know the value of A here. So unless we know the value of A, we cannot say whether it is less than 2 or not. If I do not know the value of A, I will not be able to decide or I will not be able to come to the conclusion whether A is less than 2 or not. So that means this is not a proposition. A proposition basically consists of propositional variables and connectives. A proposition which is a declarative statement, any such declarative statement consists of two important uh, elements. One is the propositional variables and second is the connectives. These connectives <coughs> basically connect the propositional variables. Now all the propositional variables are denoted by capital letters. You can give any name to the propositional variables A, B, C, etc. They will be all in capital letters. And the connectives connect these propositional variables. So, the uh, propositional variables plus the connective gives you what? Gives you a proposition. Now, let us see what connectives are. A connectives basically as I told you connect the propositional variables. So how many connectives do we have? We have five different types of connectives. The OR connective, this is the symbol for the OR connective. Then we have the AND connective, this is the symbol for the AND connective. Then we have the negation or NOT connective, this is the symbol for the NOT connective. Then we have the implication or IF THEN connective, this is the symbol for the if then or implication connective and the last one which is the if and only if connective and this is the symbol for the if and only if connective. Now we will study all these five connectives in detail. First of all we will start with the OR connective. In the OR connective or the OR operation of two propositions. If I assume I have two propositional variables A and B. So the OR operation of these propositional variables A and B which is written like this using the OR symbol A or B is true if at least any one of the propositional variable among A or B is true. That means the OR operation of the propositional variables A and A or B will be true if any either any one of them is true. So either A is true or B is true. In that case, A or B will be true. Here we can see this is the truth table that can help you better understand the OR operation or the OR connective. Now if the value of A is true and the value of B is true, here A and B are both propositional variables. So if the value of A is true and the value of B is true, then obviously uh, the value of A or B will also be true because the condition here is that either one has to be true. In that case, A or B will be true. But if here we are having both as true, then obviously A or B will be true. Moving on, if A is true, 
and b is false even in that case a or b will be true because either one of the variable has to be true and here a is true then if a is false and b is true again in that case a or b will be true because either a has to be true or b has to be true so here b is true so in that case a or b will be true then if a is false and b is also false in that case a or b will be false because at least one of the variable has to be true for a or b to be true so here we can see both a and b are false so a or b is also false then the next connective is the and operation now the and operation on the propositional variables again we will take the uh, two variables named as a and b so the and operation on the propositional variables a and b which is written by this symbol a and b is true if both a and b are true so the uh, connective itself specifies the operation that and the and operation is being done on a and b so that means if both a and b will be true only then the result of the operation will also be true so if a there is a propositional variable a and there is a propositional variable b then in that case if a is true and b is true then a and b will be true because both a and b are true now if is a is true and b is false then a and b will be false because both a and b are not true here here b is false again if a is false and b is true then a and b will be false why because both a and b are not true here here a is false then if a is false and b is also false then obviously a and b will be false because a and b are both false so for the result of the operation a and b to be true both the variables a and b have to be true so here in the truth table you can see that only for this row we have a true value truth value true for a and b rest for all of the rows we have the truth value false next is the negation operation or the negation connective so the negation of a proposition a is written by this symbol is false when a is true and is true when a is false so in other words i can say that if a is true the negation of a will be its opposite that is false and when a is false the negation of a will, will be its opposite that is true so the negation operation for the negation operation you do not need two variables the negation operation can be done on a single variable so here if a is true then a negate negation a will be false and if a is false then negation a will be true next is the implication or the if then connective this is the symbol this arrow is the symbol for the implication or the if then connective so an implication that means a implies b is the proposition that if a then b it is read as the implication symbol for a implies b is re read as if a then b it is false if a is true and b is false okay so if a is true if the truth value of a is true and the truth value of b is false then the uh, imp uh, then a implies b will be false in rest all other cases it will be true so for this you just have to keep in mind that if a is true and b is false then a implication b will be false in rest all other cases it will be true so if a and b are two propositional variables a is true and b is true so a if a then b will be true if a is true and b is false then a if a then b will be false so we have seen here that a is true and b is false in that case a implies b or if a then b will be false and this is what i told you here that it is false only if a is true and b is false then it will be false in rest all cases it will be true so the other cases that is if a is false and b is true then if a then b will be true and if a is false and b is false then also if a then b will be true so only in this case if a then b or a implies b will be false that is when a is true and b is false rest in all the cases you can see in the truth table that in all other rows a implies b or if a then b is true 
then the last connective is if and only if this is the symbol for this connective so a if and only if b is a biconditional logic logical connective so it is true when both p and q are same that is either both will have to be false or both have to be true if and only if so a if and only if b the uh, this operation on two propositional variables a and b the result of this operation on two propositional variables a and b will be true if both the proposition values are having the same truth value that is either both a and b are false or either both a and b are true then the result of if and only if connective will be true so both have to be same that means so if we look at the truth table here if a is true and b is true then this connective will the result of this connective or this operation on a and b will also be true if a is true and b is false then the result of this operation on a and b will be false because both are not same here a is true and b is false okay if a is false and b is true then again this op uh, operation on a and b will give you a truth value false because both a and b are not having the same truth value then if a is false and b is false that means both a and b are having the same truth value in that case this operation on a and b will be true because both the variables are having the same truth value so only in the first row and the last row you can see that the if and only if operation on a and b is true why because in the first row both a and b are having the same truth values and in the last row also both a and b are having the same truth values so it is true in the first and the last row in the middle two rows it is false because a and b are having separate values as you can see that in the second row a is true and b is false and in the third row a is false and b is true so that means here both of them are having different truth values so the result of if and only if on a and b is false and in the first row and the last row both a and b are having the same truth values true true or false false so if and only if operation on a and b is true in the first row and in the last row so this was all about the propositional logic